Hey everyone, this is Rod Christensen from Vancouver, Canada. I'm a Mac admin at Emily Carr University, and this is going to be a quick talk about how I'm using Monkey to do some MDM only actions, such as install, updating, and removing profiles or Mac App Store apps. Monkey MDM is a project you can use to install, update, remove profiles and Mac App Store apps using script only package info files and leverage your existing manifest structure. It really came about with the deprecation of profiles install in macOS Big Sur, which led us to start looking for alternatives. But we all really like Monkey's package info options and everything that we can target there and all the built-in keys. So this is what this is. This is a simple set of scripts that run API calls with curl and it gives Monkey some MDM powers. So this is what the structure looks like. We have an MDM on one side, we have monkey, and then we're using a middleware to have the communication happen with certificates and some basic auth. I'm using micro MDM, but really any MDM that has API calls uh, can do this. So again, this allows installation of system level mobile configs. You can leverage install checks. So you can build the logic to run commands and install apps based on a set of criteria and also maintain that kind of like a state management on an hourly basis as monkey demons run. Uh, you have granular manifest, you can install app store apps and you can use all the other monkey package info keys such as architecture. And really what we're using are two API calls mainly, the install profiles and install applications. Uh, this is an API call for install profiles and then this is the install applications uh, API call that we're going to have in the middleware. So if you go to Monkey MDM's GitHub page, you'll see that there's a guide for building your Flask app. But basically the Flask app has an environment that has the credentials for your MDM. So the actual very important API key for your MDM server that talks to Apple directly. And then you have the Python script running, which is the middleware, which really just allows certain specific commands that are supported to break through. Like, for example, if you don't have in the list erase device, you can use the middleware or monkey to send a erase device. And this here is just an example of it running. You can see the APIs call flying about, you know, install application, remove profile and installing a VPP app. And here's the package info. This is what it looks like for you in Monkey Admin. You can see it's a post API call with a payload that's a base64 representation of a signed profile. In this case, it's calling install profile. In this example, this is the payload for an extension allow list profile that can only be installed by MDM. And here's the install check that triggers Monkey to either install or not install this specific profile. Everything is running based on UUIDs for me, and it's the UUID of the profile itself. And I'll show that in another slide. And here's just very quick, exact same thing, but we're using install applications to install iMovie directly from the App Store with an API call. And the same thing, but for removing, for uninstalling it, and also disassociating the application. This is very good for paid applications if you have limited licenses, but you can use the disassociate application command to also see that a license is not being used inside your Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager. Now that I showed you all of the components here, I'm just going to boot up my Mac and show you a couple of ways that I manage these profiles in the repo and how I update them. Uh, so I have my monkey repo here with all my package info files, my manifests, um, and then my monkey package projects, which is a separate thing. Uh, and then my profiles. And what I do is I keep them all um, as flat P lists without signature. So if I open one up, you can see they're not signed. They just have the keys. Uh, but what I do is before it, it, they go into monkey, I have a quick action, which is basically a, a security command that calls from the finder, gets the path and, and whatnot, and it gets my certificate to sign it. 
uh, which I have it right here in the quick action and even in the finder. So if I click here, it goes to my pasteboard and I just have the base64 version of the signed profile. So it takes the profile, signs it, converts it to base64, and this is what's gonna go into Monkey's package info. What if I want all machines to get a new key, right? Let's say I switch this key from false to true, and I want every machine that has this profile in their manifest to get this new key. So I do that through UUIDs. Uh, I would get a new one and then set it up to the one UUID for the entire profile. And that's the key that's gonna go into my monkey install check. And some people might see system profiler and be a little bit, you know, that, that's not a great way to go, but it works. And it's been working for me for now two or three years. Uh, it, I, it doesn't slow down any machines, but you know, just, I found this to be really, really reliable because it's, it's a state manager. I can define the states that all the machines are in that need this profile because monkey is checking it hourly. So this is a great way to go. So I can update a key, update the UID. I regenerate the basics four and update my install check. That's all I have to do. And every machine gets the new profile. All right. So that is it for this quick talk. Thanks for checking out how I'm using Monkey with some MDM only actions. And you can check out the project on GitHub. There is also a Slack channel for anybody who has a question or two. Thanks.